Hello. Hey, Secretary Buttigieg, thank you for making the time. I know thank you. you're extremely busy right now. Um, so let's jump right in. Um, I'm wondering what your initial assessment is of the damage from Milton. I know it wasn't quite a worst case scenario, but what are the roads, airports looking like? That's right. A lot of our worst fears did not come to pass, but this is still a major event and a lot of work is going on right now to assess how to safely reopen roads, airports and ports. I just spoke to uh, Florida's uh, Secretary of Transportation. His department's doing excellent work and teaming up with our Federal Highway Administration. They have inspectors out in the field. Uh, the good news is the interstates are up and running, major bridges in and out of the Tampa area also up and running, but there are some structures and roads that still need to be inspected. On the aviation side uh, of the 27 airports that have been reporting into us, roughly half are at least partially open. And uh, we're going to continue to see, I think, many of those get back to uh, something uh, approaching normal as we go into tomorrow. But it really does depend airport by airport, and they're still assessing some of the damage there. Another thing we're watching very closely is Port Tampa Bay. Uh, this is a very important port, especially for energy needs for Florida. Uh, work needs to happen to make sure it is safe for reopening. But as far as the land side port infrastructure there, uh, again, the, the preliminary indication is that uh, it escaped some of the worst damage we were worried about. And that's something that uh, suggests that they'll be able to, uh, to reopen relatively soon. Like you, I'm a Midwesterner. I've never had to deal with a hurricane. Um, but what's, what are the biggest, I'm curious, hurdles in clearing the roads? Is it standing water? Is it live cables? What uh, is it debris? What is it? Certainly from a safety perspective, uh, it, it is uh, a major concern around uh, any down power lines or standing water. It's why uh, I know folks who are sheltering in place want to get out and people who evacuated want to go home. But please, please listen uh, to uh, local authorities, uh, police and fire departments and mayors uh, about when and where that is safe. Uh, there's a lot of debris removal going on. There already was in the wake of Hurricane Helene, uh, a process sometimes called cut and shove or cut and toss. Crews are out there around the clock doing that work. Of course, that process was interrupted uh, by Milton, but, but now uh, conditions are making it possible to do that in more and more areas. As you get into the medium term, then uh, the, the big obstacle becomes uh, uh, the issue of, of funding. And that's why uh, we have been working to provide uh, funding that, that tears down that obstacle uh, for local authorities, whether we're talking about the states affected by Hurricane Helene uh, or Florida. And we're in close coordination so that when we get requests for emergency funding, we move those dollars as quickly as possible to help those state DOTs, including FDOT, if they request it, uh, to get uh, uh, get that construction and, and uh, restoration work underway right away. Does DOT have what it needs to provide that funding? We do for now. Uh, we are uh, below $200 million in our emergency relief account. That's enough to cover immediate needs and requests. Uh, but if you look at the pace they've been coming in, over the weekend we uh, moved about $100 million uh, to North Carolina, $32 million for Tennessee. We may get uh, a request from Florida. Uh, so if you look out to the long term, we are certainly going to need help from Congress. But again, for the immediate requests that we're getting in the day today and days to come, uh, we are able to cover those needs. Do you think definitely before hurricane season's over, you'll need more? Yeah. Tough for me to, to uh, imagine the, or speculate on an exact timeline. What I'll say is we know that uh, as you look out into next year, uh, there are billions of dollars of, of unmet need, whether we're talking about hurricane damage or something like the uh, Baltimore Bridge collapse earlier this year that we are still uh, working to, to help uh, Maryland put back together. So uh, there, there's just no way we're going to meet those needs going into next year without support from Congress and, and uh, increased funding. Final question, Secretary. Misinformation, unfortunately, has been a uh, unnecessary hurdle that officials like yourself have had to deal with. Anything related to your department that you want to clear up or anything that you're particularly concerned about? Yeah, you know, we have been very concerned about uh, false statements circulating online. Those can actively hinder or disrupt uh, emergency work, and uh, th they really stand in the way of recovery. Residents deserve better. So uh, urging people to listen to trusted sources of information. Uh, if you're uh, wondering what FEMA is doing, look at what FEMA directly has to say, not some guy on the internet. Uh, listen to what your mayor and fire department and, and, and others have to say, uh, because it really is important to get good information, especially when it comes to uh, requesting and receiving aid. Unfortunately, a lot of scammers uh, come into uh, the, the scene sometimes when you have a natural disaster. So again, make sure that you've got verified, trusted sources of information and know that every 
everything we're doing is to help and support and facilitate recovery operations. That's literally why our folks are there in the first place, including the hundreds of US DOT personnel who are among the thousands of federal personnel uh, who are in the Southeast helping with this response. You don't know party, you're not paying attention to party when it comes to the state, yes. Not at all, I mean, look, I I've been talking to senators, mayors, governors, you would never know from the conversation which ones were in the same party as mine. When I talked to Florida's DOT director, you would have no idea uh, that uh, his boss and my boss belong to different political parties. That's not what it's about right now. It's about getting things done, getting people the help they need, and getting communities back to normal. Thank you for your time, Secretary, and for your work, I appreciate it. Same here, thank you. Take care.